It's January, and basking under blue skies, British residents of the Costa Blanca. This is the lifestyle they came for. But will Brexit now change things? This is valid. David, who's retired, is concerned about his access to health care. Am I going to continue having free health care, being paid for obviously by the NHS, or am I going to have to go private? Well, my concern is the pension. Will it be index linked? If I came a Spanish resident, I don't know. Both David and Eileen should be fine. A hundred thousand retirees from the UK live in Spain. The deal with the EU means pensioners who register as residents can stay and keep getting medical care and uprated pensions. For others, though, things are less clear. Tourists. After the end of this year, they may face limits on any stay in the EU, perhaps a maximum of 90 days. It's part of what's still to be decided. But the British citizens who face the greatest uncertainties are those who are working, studying, making lives around Europe. Here in Spain, there are 200,000 of them. Younger, more mobile, many are worried that Brexit will restrict their opportunities. Hi Isabel, how are you? Isabel and her mother Camilla, who lives in Madrid, will both lose the ability to move freely for work or study to other EU countries. So the two are now taking Spanish citizenship. I have applied for Spanish nationality. What breaks my heart is uh, the situation of young people. It's not my, just my children. There's another 12,000 British children who've been born in Spain and that have British citizenship. And that's a lot of people to forget. To get a Spanish passport, you have to live here for 10 years. Many haven't, like Matt. He came to teach English, now has a corgi puppy, a full-time job, and a wife, Lexi, who's American. Free movement, Matt believes, enriched his life, gave him chances others from the UK will not now enjoy. If the UK government is not going to allow Euro EU, uh, European citizens to, get, to move to the UK so easily, or even like, limit the amount of time they're allowed to live there, well, then the same thing's going to happen to Brits, or something very similar. So Matt, for one, won't be celebrating this day, believing Brexit will prove a loss, not a liberation. Damien Grammaticus, BBC News, Madrid.